It is a new age for Rio's municipal guard units. They are patrolling for those ignoring the law that has made wearing masks in public mandatory. Even here, in the open air, under the hot sun, in the city's famous Copacabana beach, they're handing out fines. It doesn't make any sense. I'm outside. We're not sitting close to each other. You can't catch it out here. The whole thing is very confusing. Since June, about 1,000 agents have been authorized to fine people and businesses that don't comply with a measure that has proven effective. We issued around 3,700 fines, 3,000 for not wearing masks and the rest for not keeping proper social distance, but people are not cooperating. This taxi driver was caught having a coffee without wearing a mask. No excuses are accepted. The fine is the equivalent of 20 US dollars per person, and if the infringement is repeated, it can reach $100. It is very uncomfortable and hot, and I sweat. If I could, I would not wear it. But it's the law, so I have to obey. Some offenders can be arrested for disobedience or resisting, and businesses can be fined up to $500. Rio de Janeiro is the state with the second highest number of COVID-19 deaths in Brazil after São Paulo, and many residents are not taking the mask law seriously. But they're not the only ones. President Jair Bolsonaro, who tested positive for coronavirus and became sick, removed his mask several times in front of supporters after his recovery last month. Brazil's health experts agree that the president is not providing a good example and is hampering the work of these agents that are trying to contain a virus that continues to spread throughout the country. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.